So I've been editing the video and I realized I haven't made one thing clear and that is I'm not paid for this. The Hanser is not paying me for making these videos. Maria from the Hanser reached to me to make a review of this uh, particular plugin and what you get from it is 10% off with my promotion code down in the description. What I get from it is the Hanser plugin license like lifetime license, I think. I will have to check it. Let's get back to the video so you can enjoy the review. First thing first, uh, this video is about iOS app, more will follow, like for Lightroom plugin and for DaVinci Resolve. Now, all we need to do is take a look on our mobile phone. My old body here is ready to go. I will record the screen and let's see how it holds. First off, you have to install the, the application. It's downloadable for free from your app store. So after you install it, you open the app and you're presented with one view. I will show you the picture of it because it wants you to download the, the emulations of the film. Let's run the application. Here we have some recent files. So let's open the recent file. My last edits are here. I can, here is the video I want to talk about. There are some last edits and whatnot. So let's go into edit section here. I will try to circle uh, and show you where I'm clicking and what I'm doing. Here you can see the menu is pretty straightforward. You have your presets, so you can apply your presets. You have your edits, you have your uh, library button, so you can see all the pictures. You have your share button. This is under paywall, so you have seven days trial or you will just pay for it. You can choose between two packages, photo and video. So not for me right now. That's basically it. In the presets, there is like quite a lot of films, as you can see. Here you can do save, which will create new preset and you can get the presets with the category button. You can play the video, sure. You can play it in loop, you can go back, you can go forth, it's all. And on the right side, top corner, you have the back and forth button, that's it. If you go into edit section, the menu stays the same until you get to the bottom, which you can crop the image, you can change the source, like uh, different logs. So for example, if I change it to Apple log, which is not, it will do some weird shit, but if you know what you're recording your videos in, definitely experiment with that. You can change basic adjustments. Then you have the films. It's like the presets, but uh, without uh, the preset options, because I imagine the presets are a little bit modified or you can create your own. So you don't have to do these edit steps. You can choose developer and boost the contrast gamma or color separation or whatever. Compression. Same thing, expand for the black points, white points, print, you can choose your paper here, which will definitely modify the image. As you can see, it gets brighter or it will get darker. You can change multiples uh, of the options here. Same for basically any other tab we will go through. Obviously film grain, you can change your ISO. So that's how the film grain will look like. You can change the amount so you can have it without the grain, which is interesting or with the grain, obviously. Halation, that's for the film halation layer, which is included on most of the films or it's specifically excluded, depends on what you shoot on. Bloom, vignette, film damage. And this is pretty nice because you can just add test, hairs, scratches, whatever you like. Here you can add the overscan gate. So let's say it's widescreen, sharp. Uh, actually, let's get with the only Super 35. It should be nice. Perforation positive. Uh, film orientation can be vertical, horizontal. Yeah, you can choose whatever you like. Exposure can be brighter or darker. It's not doing anything right now on my phone because it's heating through my hand and I think it will melt down. I think you can zoom out and zoom in. Yes, exactly. Nice. Offsets, basically whatever you like, you can change here in terms of film. So this is for the video. Uh, let me reset this. I can go to here and take some pictures, for example, here. And here you can do the same thing, but it's a picture. 
and it's gone. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> okay, first crash. Okay, let's choose different picture here. Yeah, I don't think it's due to the fact that uh, the application is crashing, but I think it's thanks to the fact that the phone is heating through my hands right now. And I think it will just burn. So let's do, for example, Cinestill 50D because it's more blue. Thanks to the fact, or 800T, yeah, this is what I like. 800T, you, you can push it, or let's pull it, yeah, let's pull it a little bit, one and a half stop, and that's basically it. For me, here, it probably ends, I would like a little bit of gamma correction, and because I was there for the colors, I would like some color boost. And that's how simply you can edit your photos with a film emulation. Nothing else needed. I think for quick and professional graded simulations of film and quick edits included, I think this is really nice. As you could see, it fell only once. Let me just go through multiple of these here. The menu is simple enough. Everybody can do this. And I think uh, you will get what you pay for. Definitely don't do this on like uh, SE 2000 or 2020 or whatever. I think it's uh, not suited for it. But other than that, maybe uh, modifying images on your tablet or iPad or whichever like bigger device is great. So let's talk performance for the iPhone. Performance wise, uh, yeah, the phone will get hot. Mine is, I have iPhone 11, so it's quite an old phone in terms of like the versions of the iPhone, but it does the job. Like you can see the emulations, you can see how the picture will look like. It will not run smoothly because I don't think it's like in the power of the phone anymore. But the M1 chip should save you, M2 definitely will, I think it will definitely work without any problems. In terms of iPad, I think no questions asked there if you have pro version. Conclusion. Overall, I like the experience. It does the job. It does what you want it to. Sure, the export is under paywall. Uh, a little bit because I did not find any other way how to export the picture or the video. It's simple, it's effective and if you have the hardware to support it, go for it. I think it's a great piece of software and especially the grain, the film damage and the hair and the dust and you can really play with the sliders, it's, uh, it's perfect. Judge yourself, let me know in the comments if you like it or not. If you tried it or would like to try it because there is a seven day trial, see you in the next review video and we will take a look at the Lightroom Classic plugin.